that together. My name is Lieutenant Colonel Eric King of the United States Air Force. I'm a chief nuclear engineer of the Iraq Survey Group, tasked with locating hidden chemical weapons. Our mission has uncovered something unexpected. I will now begin an autopsy of an unidentified life form. Uh, an unidentified life form, that's a good way to put it. What are these guys blowing up? By in the hole. Mm. I wish the last one. Should at least slow them down. Long enough to spot them on the cameras. I wish Salim was still with us. He totally would be if I hadn't have shot that farmer earlier thinking it was a uh, soldier. We should reset that tripwire. Give me a hand. We've been in some fucked up situations before. Huh. Never as fucked as this. If I gotta fight these things, there's no one else I would want by my side. I'm slightly concerned that I've already made some calls that are going to get me killed. Well, let's be reassuring at least. You know I always got your back, buddy. Come with me. Resetting trip wires. Man, Nick has just needed reassurance this whole time. This is something this else. You think? I don't know how many places like this we've bombed without a second thought. These relics are better off in the dust. What's your problem? These people didn't ask for this war. <sighs> you don't want to ever be resentful. Why are you defending the enemy, Sergeant? You and me both know they're not all our enemies. Fuck, Jason. It's about the girl at the checkpoint. Shit, Nick. How many times? We thought she had a bomb. It was just a bag of groceries. We fucked up. Yeah, bro, now is not the time to get that out of your head. That girl's death is getting under your skin, buddy. Yes, as a matter of fact, it is. Isn't it getting under yours? I saw what you did to that shepherd earlier. And your tough guy act isn't ever going to make that shit right. Mailman 2 1 actual, this is dropkick. Request update, over. 2 1 actual receiving. Cameras are green and the holes have been demolished, over. Good work, Lieutenant. Treat through the eastern corridor and be on your guard, over. I hear you, over and out. Approximation, the creature is eight feet tall, bipedal, winged. Wing webbing appears to be affixed to its forelimbs and to the digits of its hands. Epidermis looks to be smothered in some sort of excretion. Underneath it is diseased almost. The creature is starting to rapidly decompose in death. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual, approaching Eastern Passage. Over. I see you. Christ, these doors took a hammer in. Those things must have come through here in force. Whoever manned that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. These creatures aren't dumb. They're predators. Bet your bottom dollar if they came this way before, they could come again. Yeah. Nick needs to get his head in the game, man. These guys don't have anything on their tack vests. 
They got nothing in their molly webbing. Got a knife, a canteen. A couple mag pouches, it looks like. Got bipods on their rifles, eight cogs. Fortify the temple. Here we go. You know, we're probably already dead. We just don't know it yet. That's the crazy thing about these games. Decisions you made hours ago come back to bite you. Oh, hell, this is where we started at. Did not end up well for us. All right, one at a time. It's the closest I've been to hell. You know, we apparently have different dating histories then. He's spitting there. Oh my god. What a hard ass. It's the bones of all these probably slaves, victims. He spits on them. Whoa. That's from the 1990 or 1992 World War II expedition for sure. Wait, wait. There's no secrets in here? Yeah, yeah, there it is. Fuck she do to deserve that. Kill by stake through the heart. Bro, these are vampires. Maybe. Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. Who did? I don't know. Buffy? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Maybe you should hold on to that. Dude, yeah. Never know when you're gonna need a sharpened steak, right? Hell yeah. Okay. Stink of death and was littered. Blowing a hole through the rock face, we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanated from beneath, casting its eldritch light over us all. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder, undisturbed by the world above. What's that? God. It says they found something weird down here. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. No, that's not an understatement. Wait, hold on. Wait, I thought... Hmm. Okay, these are all different. Wait, what is this? A bloodless corpse with strange puncture marks on its neck. Okay. All right. These are obviously, 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 uh, um, vampires, right? Right? Like, I'm not going crazy. He's been drained dry. It's gotta be one of those explorers. Yeah, definitely is. Hold on. Is there anything else in here? Hold on a second. Let's do this. Confident, pragmatic, heroic. Well, oh, there's nothing right there. That's good. Clay tablet bearing some 
arrangement of stars. There's a cattle. So obviously, now that we know what we know, we know that these are vampires, right? That's, I feel like, pretty darn clear. Journal entry Ville's archaeologists found something mysterious deep below the temple. Well, duh. Let's see. Man, I don't know. It's vampires, though. So, okay, wait. Remember that, uh... Where's that ultraviolet wand that he brought down with him? Wait, did we find everything? Yeah, we already went through this. There's, there was an ultraviolet wand. This isn't where we came in, right? We need to go find that ultraviolet wand. This is the thing that dude had around his neck. Nothing that's gonna get us out of here. Right. Oh, cylinder seal depicting an ancient city. Couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. I don't know, man. I'm trying to... Th okay, so this is obviously... What's gonna, like, be the final... I was just looking around to see if there's anything else. Pretty sure that's a demon. It's also a vampire relic. This looks like a good choke point. Any of those freaks coming up from below are sure to pass through here. Set some charges? Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum coverage. You're more likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell the difference? We shouldn't underestimate them. We mine the sides. We're more likely to catch them out. Smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Oh, God. Let's be cautious, I think. Those things are devious fuckers. You're right. We plant the charges to the side of the hall. All right. They won't see this one coming. I hope this is the right... I know this game is a couple years old. I could look up the answers and what to do, but it's more fun not knowing. I think I've already... I've already killed Rachel. Your brain taken away. What is it? Should have given her a second warning. Bro, stop. Fuck, man, I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Yeah? What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. Yeah, it was the wrong call, but that Why shit happened. No one ever tells it straight. Everyone just makes a bullshit to get by. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. You seriously gonna tell me it didn't mess with yours, man? Yeah, we... Okay, be humble, but move on. We fucked up. If we make it out of here, we'll face up to that. If we die down here, maybe it's what we deserve. You know I was seeing Rachel. Are you serious? Been three weeks. Shit. It's armed. Nick needs to get his head together. Dropkick, this is Mailman 21 Actual. We're at a stairwell leading down into a maze. Please advise, over. 
circle back now and secure the perimeter. Drop kick out. Mount a camera here, and let's head back. The hell is this? Oh my god, is that Rachel? Oh my god, Rachel is alive? Oh, hell no. What? About done yourself this time, puppy dog. Damn. Nick? Jason? Is that blood? You've got to be kidding me. I am in a damn pool of blood. I'm going back this way to see if there's anything over here that can help me. I don't think there is. ladder away for now. Oh, this is not good. Oh. That can't be anything good. Hell no. Assuming I need to stay the hell away from it. Jesus. an ID card. Dude, you are in a lake of blood and there is something swimming underneath you. Yeah, no. Stay away from it. that thing go under the swimming under the blood I'm trying to stay away from it it's the helmet from the prologue the thing seems like it's swimming over there so I'm going to try to stay over here Part of me wants to check a few of these things out, see if I can find something to help me, but I don't want to run into whatever's swimming under the blood. 28th of December. God forgive us. For days we have studied this dead, silent realm and its entombed abominations. Now the horrors have come for my own dear Mary. Crow found her unconscious in the star chamber. Her notes scattered around her. He carried her back to our supply room and laid her down in one of the cells. When Bradshaw learned what had happened, she was evasive about Mary's work down there. As I cleaned my wife's face, she spoke to me in a fever, sounding distressed and confused. I have resolved to keep a vigil over her. I pray her fever abates so we can escape this cursed place. Mm. Oh, 
Jesus. Look, it looks like there's something swimming. Under the water. Yeah, no. As much as I want to look around to try to find, like, clues and stuff, I have a feeling, like, if I get near that thing, I'm dead. Oh, oh my god. Jesus Christ. I need to get out of here as soon as possible. is swimming up behind you. I would hurry. Has stumbled onto a big, an ancient vampire caves, and what this is looking like. This is so not good. Oh my god! This is like worst case scenario. Is that light? God. There was something over here. Let's check this out. Sylvia, we have collected and bottled the black saliva present on the maw of the creature extracted from the cocoon. I and others who smelt the substance have experienced heart palpitations and a heightened sense of fear. Some have reported odd visual effects such as a change to colors. We have attempted to secure additional samples of saliva from the site where M was attacked. The smell was so overpowering that the respirators were used to collect the samples. We recommend the use of masks at all time when handling uh, samples to avoid becoming affected. Sensation similar to experience with mushrooms? Question mark. Hmm. So the, like the bites have like psychedelic effects. Hmm. So if you get bit by one of these things, you get all tripped out. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. I just... Dude, that thing is following me. This is not cool. I just want to get out of the dam. This river of blood. God, this thing is literally following me. God, go away. Oh, 
dude, I swear to God. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. This is not cool. Dude, it is right frickin' there. This thing is literally following me. Oh my god, we gotta go. Alright, we're not turning around anymore. Uh, just ignore it. Ignore it. No. Seriously? I'm just now noticing this. has powerful claws and fangs formed from hardened and identifiable tissue. Two of the incisors appear grossly malformed and discolored, oddly out of place. The membrane surrounding the specimen seems to originate from its mouth. Blood is like nothing I've seen. I'll now perform a UV sweep to further inspect the fluids. Check, is that you? We're gonna run out of juice, and as soon as the light is gone, we're in trouble. Looks like a line out. Maybe we can get the radio working and send a signal out. It's worth a shot. A long shot. Oh, we don't even know if there's a working transmitter on the surface. Those wires gotta go somewhere, though. You think they still work? Well, looks to me like they just snagged up. Don't feel much like climbing out there. What the hell? What the fuck, Joey? Oh my god, that's the dude from the beginning. Shit, Joey, it's me! Pissed him off. We have to hurry. It's not safe here.
Dude, how how was Clarice one? How is she alive? And two, do you see how strong she was? She ripped the boulders down the side. She's got to be infected. She's I didn't know like that you could fight. She's great. Yeah, me either. What was Better. that thing? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's not alone. Dude, she looks dead. Where have you been? Look at her skin color. One of those things got its dirty hands on me, dragged me down here, left me for dead. Fuck. Fuck doesn't even start to cut it. I'm lucky to have gotten away. You're talking to a scientist. There's no such thing as luck. You should be thankful I was there to help you. Hmm. Be appreciative. I think she's just turned into a vampire. I'm really grateful. Thank you. Semper Fi. We gotta find a way out of this hole. So, this is where you've been hiding out? Do you have any weapons? Uh, do you mind? Just need some batteries for this damn light. You could just ask. That ever cross your mind? I don't think it's a big deal in the circumstances. Uh oh, she's bleeding. Looks painful. Yeah. It is. Think you can keep still? Don't try to eat her. Um, let's be nice. I'm glad you're here. Yeah. Well, I guess I'm a little glad too. I think Clarice is definitely dying. She's definitely turning into one of those things. I wonder if we can save her. Joey's dead. Clarice is gonna die. I saw those same symbols in the shepherd's huts. Those people must have been in the valley a long time. <laughs> oh no. <coughs> There's a way up. There's no way we're making it. Look at it. It's barely climbable. We can make it together. How did I know you were gonna say that? I met Eric in climbing glass. I can get us out of here. <laughs> Something funny you wanna share? This place is fucked. We are so fucked, we don't stand a chance. You keep that to yourself. I'm gonna get through this, and if you want to, you better try and keep up. Yeah, yeah be positive. Act your blood type, not your age. Be positive. Think like a proton. What the hell was that? Is that what, uh, judging by the footwear, was it one of the dudes from the beginning? And whatever happened to the guys in the prologue? Dude, Clarice does not look good. You okay? Yeah, just need a minute. A minute isn't gonna kill us. Until it does. God, you look terrible. Gee, thanks, Rachel. You ever think about going into motivational speaking? Seriously, though, are you okay? That's gotta be about the dumbest question I have ever been asked. <sighs> Give me the silent treatment, huh? Amused? What do you want me to say? I don't know. Something to get our minds off this place. Curious. Be curious. Okay. So why did you become a physicist? I mean, you don't... I don't look the type? Well, you don't. Oh, should I be wearing nerd clothes? That's not what I meant. You just don't strike me as one. Science was the furthest thing from what everybody thought I'd do. Something just for me. I know a little something about that. You do? Let's be intimate. 
I'm seeing someone else. You don't seem surprised. Nick, right? That obvious? Huh. Does Eric know? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, he does know. I guess I just wanted to let go. It would be someone new. Hey. You do know this story. Oh, dude. <coughs> we gotta get away from her before she turns. <laughs> Please. What did that thing do to you? Please! Please don't leave me down here alone! Oh, jeez. Uh. Uh. It's okay. I'm here. I promise that you'll stay with me. Jesus. I will leave you. I promise. But you have to tell me. What did that thing do to you? There's medication up there. It may help you, but we need to move now. Oh my god, dude, we're gonna. She's gonna turn. side of the chasm. We'll never make it. <laughs> Don't quit on me now. <laughs> we have to swing over. That rope won't hold. Wait! Man. Do you really believe those medicines will help me? We don't know enough about those things. Come on, Rachel. Don't bullshit me. It doesn't look good. Truth is so overrated. If it happens, if I turn, you have to kill me. Mm. Come on. you turn it won't be you I'm killing yeah this is one of those spots I feel like the game's testing us because it knows we want to help her we we need to help her but I feel like if we bring her back she's gonna kill <coughs> me or somebody else I'm gonna have to leave her. I am gonna have to leave her. Shit. Oh my God, this is like, uh. I'm so sorry. 